This is May We, uh, which is a 1997 R&D trout, uh, 47 foot in length, uh, decent condition. Uh, in fact, the owners are selling because they've just bought another boat through Rugby Boats. I'm happy to tell you. Uh, we've got a well deck under a cratch cover here. The cross locker there is a coal store. And then you drop down a step into the saloon and you've got a captain's sibling chair there. There's a sofa bed beyond it. A flat screen television and tucked into the corner here is a Torgem solid fuel stove. Torgems were once the standard stove on narrowboats until the more so squirrel took over. That's a better close up of the sofa bed there. And then you have this galley sort of set facing each other units with a side hatch in between. You've got a four burner gas hob, microwave, oven, separate grill and there is a three-way fridge that's a gas 12 volt and 240 volt as well. You pass down a small corridor after that and on your left is the bathroom, there's a Thetford cassette in there and a wash basin set into a cupboard unit and then here you have the shower cubicle which is fully tiled with a curtain and beyond this lies the bedroom it's a very compact boat, uh, great really for weekends and holidays although the couple that are selling it actually went long term cruising on it and uh, are perfectly happy with that You've got radiators throughout, a central heating system, uh, which is run by a back boiler off the stove. And then you head into the engine room. And here you can catch sight of the Beta 38 horsepower diesel engine. And that steps onto the stern deck. There's a two and a half kilowatt uh, inverter installed in this boat, and there's also a Wabasto diesel boiler, which is solely for the purpose of providing hot water together with the engine. Two taffrail seats as well for comfort when you're steering, and traditionally decorated panels on the aft doors and that's another close-up of the engine and that is mais oui which is uh, French literally for but yes sort of, like, of course um, for a brochure a photo gallery and a layout plan please go to rugbyboats.co.uk